Well, good morning, church family. Uh, great to see you this morning. Um, hope that you're looking forward to a wonderful day. I'm glad to be able to be with you this morning just to share a word of devotion with you. Uh, recently, uh, I was working on a project at my home, uh, just, le just last week, in fact, and um, it was a hot afternoon, as you remember, last week being a really hot week, and and so this project was out in my backyard working on an air conditioning system at my house. So I was working on this thing, had been out there in the heat a while, sweating and uh, really tired. And uh, then something happened. And I want to I want to show you now my intention is not to gross you out or anything. In fact, I waited a week before I showed you this. But, um, but anyway, take a look at my finger. You'll see right there on my finger, you see the little injury. It's all but just about healed up now. Uh, but what happened there was uh, I was using my uh, battery-powered uh, drill. I had a Phillips head, kind of a pointy Phillips head bit in that thing, and I was uh, trying to put a wood screw in, and I was holding holding this item, and I was, and it wasn't going. It was just not working the way I I hoped it would, and, and so I was pushing harder and harder to, to get that that screw to go in, and and suddenly the the screw kind of Put, flipped over and the, the drill came loose. And anyway, I drilled the heck out of my finger and went, I mean, right off to the bone, you know, with that, with that bit. And it hurt like the dickens. I mean, it really hurt. I went in and uh, kind of uh, whined about it for a while before it finally eased up. But, um, but, you know, I guess my thought about that was this. And maybe if you're like me, this may apply to you. I hope that it maybe could give you a bit of encouragement or at least maybe a word of advice this morning. Uh, but it, isn't it amazing? And maybe like me, do you often find that some of the pain and the suffering and the discomfort, the unhappiness, uh, some of the grief that we have in this life is often a result uh, of our own doing, uh, sometimes a result of our own decisions? Now, that's what happened with me, and I'll explain explain why. You know, sometimes injury comes, uh, pain comes into our life for a various uh, number of reasons, and sometimes it is just purely by accident. And you could say that what happened to, to my finger was an accident, and it was, but there are also some contributing factors that I think are really important to take note of. Uh, first of all, I had been working uh, for a while, uh, all afternoon, I was out in the heat. I was a little, beginning to be a little bit dehydrated. I had this tendency, once I get started on something, I just don't want to quit until I, until I get it finished, you know? And so uh, I, I didn't want to stop and rest. I didn't want to stop and cool off. I didn't want to stop and get, get some water and rehydrate. And, uh, and so um, I was really working, was getting tired. Uh, the other aspect of it was that the project, the job that I was doing, really wasn't going the way that I hoped it would go. You know, I don't know about you, but anytime I do a do-it-yourself project, you can just about count on it. See, I, I told you all Sunday that I'm, I tend to be an optimist, and so whatever I tell Donna, in fact, I'll tell her, well, this is going to take about an hour, and she'll say, she'll usually typically say something like, so you mean it's going to take about all, all day, and and she's often right about that. If you do DIY projects, you know that most of the time, whatever time you think that it's going to take to do it, it's usually going to take twice as long. Anyway, what I'm saying is that by this time, I was really frustrated because this project wasn't going the way I hoped it would. In fact, I thought it was going to be a relatively simple thing to do, and it turned out to be something a little bit harder, a little bit bigger. And so, so here's what I'm saying. I'm saying that I was frustrated. I was tired. Uh, I was not rested. Um, I was, I was feeling some anxiety, and I was in the heat, and as my, as my frustration grew, uh, so did the great possibility of injury. And so, so in this case, yes, it was an accident, but it was an accident that I think was um, caused by my failure to do what I really did need to do. And, and so that reminds me, makes me think of, of the verse in Psalm, Psalm 127, 2. It says this, It is in vain, note that word vain, it is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. 
says God will give rest to his beloved. And I, I, I picked up on those words. It is in vain that you rise up early. In other words, we sometimes take it upon ourselves and we think that we can, um, we can make happen what we want to make happen. And we have this vain idea that we can be in control of everything. And he also says that to eating the bread of anxious toil. See, the Bible never says that work is bad. In fact, the Bible uh, is a proponent of, of solid, honest work and toil. Uh, but uh, anxious toil is another thing. And so here's what I'm saying. By that afternoon, with that, uh, with that drill in my hand, I, the project had become anxious toil. And I didn't want to rest. And so Jesus said it over in Mark chapter 6, verse 31. He said something like this. He said to them, come away by yourselves to a desolate place and rest a while. So even Jesus understood the necessity of taking a break and resting. In this case, uh, I ended up causing myself some injury. And that, that is true of a simple physical task like, like I was doing. But don't you find that in life, um, a lot of decisions, a lot of things that we do in life, that principle could apply to. And many times uh, the, when I get really tired, when I get frustrated or disappointed, when I get anxious, uh, that's when I'm most likely to make a poor decision, a bad decision that will come out uh, poorly for me and, will may, and may well cause me some grief or some anguish, pain, whether it's physical or mental or emotional. Uh, we, we need to take note that um, only when we rest in the presence of God, only when we let him have control of what's going on in our lives, uh, can we avoid some of the pain and, and suffering that we might experience in this life. Now, I'm not saying that we can escape all pain and suffering, obviously. I'm just simply saying that uh, we could escape that which is self-inflicted. So my prayer for you today is that you will find your peace in Jesus Christ, that you will rest in him, uh, that you will not become over frustrated or over anxious and make decisions that could uh, end up costing you or causing you pain in your life. Take your time, invite God into what you're doing and uh, let him guide the process and certainly let him bring rest, uh, not only to you physically, but into your soul and your spirit. So I pray that you have a great day today. I hope that you don't uh, inflict any pain upon yourself or those that you love uh, today. So let's go to the Lord in prayer and let's ask his blessing on each one of us as we walk through this day together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this time together. Lord, I thank you that uh, you will give courage, you will give peace and comfort to those that wait upon you. As we talked about last week, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And so, Lord, I pray that you would give me the wisdom to, to know when it's time to stop, to know when it's time to take a deep breath and rest and invite your presence into whatever it is that I'm doing. Uh, Lord, that, uh, that I might be at least afford the opportunity to avoid self-inflicted hurt and pain. And then, Lord, we thank you that you guide us every step of, uh, of the way in this life. I lift up your people to you today. I pray for your rich blessing upon their lives that they would experience your presence in a very real way today. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I pray that you have a great uh, Tuesday. I hope that your week is off to a great start. I look forward to seeing you again on uh, Thursday morning and uh, seeing you back again on, uh, in church on Sunday. So uh, just continue to keep the faith and continue to look up and keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you.